Hi, this is Richard Walsh. I spent 20 years perfecting my craft, becoming an innovative leader in my, in my field. I created a million dollar business. Tireless hours of sweat and pursuit, giving everything and every dollar I had. Well, after 20 years and a major downturn in the economy, my marketplace had changed and I wasn't coming back. And I wasn't going to stop me though. I refied the house, put 200 grand back into the business to keep it going for a little while. Now at the same time, my wife and I had six small kids, three years old and younger. You know, we had a house, a struggling business hanging on by its fingernails. I had to ask myself, what was I doing? We also wanted to homeschool our kids, you know, to give them the greatest opportunities for the future. And that just wasn't going to happen with what, with, with, with what I was doing. So I had to do some soul searching and, you know, and some internet searching. And I realized I had to think differently about what success was. I had to find a real way to success and wealth accumulation. You know, a lot of us have our reasons for change. Mine became my family. The desire not to drop the ball when it came to educating my kids in all aspects of life, from math skills and financial education to developing outstanding character. You know, it, as a homeschool father, it wasn't only my duty to teach, but to lead. Great leadership comes from example. I had to lead from the front. That was my moral obligation on my family. So I had to put the past behind me. I hold on to my business experience, but toss the rest away. I'll never forget the morning I woke up and had that epiphany, you know, when I realized that the one thing holding me back was my ego. You know, the, the thought that my business was me, it was a name, but some kind of legacy, but what was it really? It was a name, it was a bunch of trucks and equipment, it was, it was a bunch of customers telling me how wonderful my work is. So I started to think, if it was all gone tomorrow, when I walked in the house in the morning, my kids would still love me. You know, they didn't care if, what kind of car I drove, how much money I made, where we lived. All they wanted to know was if they were loved. And they certainly wouldn't miss the 12 to 16 hour days I was working. I might actually get to know them and then me. So I shut it down. I had to sell everything. You know, I have to understand I was the man, the best at what I did. And when my customers, even my peers, got wind of it, they were really concerned for me. And God bless them, but I was happy. It was like the weight of the world was lifted off of my shoulders. You know, I, I could breathe again. I could smile. I started eating healthy and getting fit. In a year's time, I lost 50 pounds and, and got fit again. See, I was a Marine, a boxer, a personal fitness trainer. I had a first-degree black belt in Taekwondo. I climbed mountains. Fitness and health meant something to me. So I reprioritized my life. I put God first, then my family and our health, then my personal development, and then my business. And when I did that, the doors opened for me. I found this online business opportunity, and my gut said, do it. Now, there's one thing I learned after 20 years in business, and I also trust my gut. I did my due diligence, and I ran with it. And now, I'm creating the lifestyle of my dreams, and I'm helping others to do the same. I've learned the true joy of giving back and helping others. <laughs> if I'm happy, my family's happy, you know, I enjoy every day the Lord permits me to live on this earth. If you're looking for that kind of change in your life while creating a substantial income from home and creating the lifestyle of your dreams, you owe it to yourself to check out my website, mygainforyou.com. It's right down there. Now, we all come from somewhere. We're all unique. We all have the potential for greatness. Learn to harness it and share it with the ones you love. Find your reason and make it happen. Check out my website, mygainforyou.com, and God bless.